On this Labor Day, the White House says it's making big changes that could help millions of workers. Casey Decker with our Verify team looked into what exactly they're proposing to do. Labor groups are celebrating a new move from the federal government that supporters called a big win for workers. They said the Department of Labor is taking steps to expand the right to overtime pay to more than 3 million new people. So let's verify. Would a new rule from the Biden administration expand who's eligible for overtime? Our sources are the Department of Labor, the Fair Labor Standards Act, and the Code of Federal Regulations. Congress mandated overtime pay for millions of employees when it passed the Fair Labor Standards Act in 1938. The law created the 40-hour work week and says that nearly all blue-collar workers and some white-collar workers must get paid extra for every hour they work above that. But many white-collar employees who work on salary are not eligible for overtime. They can become eligible if they meet one of two criteria. One, if their job duties don't meet the legal definitions of executive, administrative, or professional. Two, if their salary is below a certain threshold. Over the decades, that federal threshold has been raised a few times, most recently by the Trump administration in 2019. And now the Biden administration is proposing to raise it again. At the moment, the threshold sits at $684 a week, or a little more than 35 grand a year. The new regulation would make it $1,059 a week, a salary of roughly 55 grand a year. That means with only a few exceptions, if you make less than 55 K, you'd be eligible for overtime pay. The proposed regulation would also automatically update that threshold every three years to keep up with the market. So we can verify, yes, a new rule from the Biden administration would expand who's eligible for overtime. But the rule hasn't taken effect yet. It's still in an early stage of the regulatory process, and it could be several months or more before it gets finalized. Similar proposals have faced court challenges in the past, which could further prolong the process. Also, some states can have even higher thresholds than the federal rule, but they can't be lower. With your Verify, I'm Casey Decker. So don't